Okay, so today we're going to do a related rates problem about the temperature of a boiled potato. Okay, so at T is zero, a boiled potato is taken from a pot on a stove and left to cool in a kitchen. The internal temperature of the potato is 91 degrees Celsius at time zero. The internal temperature of the potato is always greater than 27 degrees Celsius for times greater than zero. The internal temperature of the potato at t minutes can be modeled by this function h that satisfies the differential equation dh dt is negative one fourth h minus 27. And h is measured in degrees Celsius and then we've got an initial condition here h of zero is 91. Okay, first we're going to write the equation of the tangent line. Uh, we need two things to write the equation of the tangent line. We need a point, which is given here, and we need a slope. So the point is 0, 91, and the slope we're going to get from the dh dt equation, and that's going to be negative 1 fourth, 91 minus 27, uh, no calculator, what's this going to be? This is going to be uh, 11 minus 7 is 4, 64, and so that's going to be negative 16. All right, so the equation of the tangent line is going to be y minus 91 is negative 16 x minus 0. Okay, and it says to, let's circle this, use this equation to approximate the temperature of the potato when t is 3. So uh, t would be like x in our equation. This would be y is representing h, x is representing t. So I'm going to plug 3 in for my x value, and I'm going to get y minus 91 is negative 16, 3 minus 0. y is negative 48 uh, plus 91, and that is going to be 43. So h of 3 is approximately 43 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay, now we're going to use the second derivative to decide whether or not that's an underestimate or an overestimate of the internal temperature when t is 3. Okay, so let's find the second derivative. So going up here to the first derivative, uh, the second derivative is negative 1 fourth dh dt minus 0. Really, really common mistake for people to just take the derivative of h and put a 1 there and forget to take the derivative of h with respect to t. Um, so uh, don't forget that. This is negative 1 fourth, and then I'm going to plug dh dt in there, which is negative 1 fourth h minus 27, which is going to be, when I simplify this, multiply it out, 1 over 16 h minus 27. Okay, now, if you remember the relationship between a tangent line and the curve, if the curve is concave down, then the tangent line is always going to lie above the curve. No matter where you draw the tangent line, it will be above the curve. If the curve is concave up, then the tangent line is going to be below the curve. So we need to figure out whether the curve is concave up or concave down to decide where the tangent line lies relative to that. Okay, they told you in the beginning of the problem that h is greater than 27 for all t is greater than 0. 
Well, if H is greater than 27, then this expression will always be positive. So D squared H, or the second derivative with respect to T is positive for all T is greater than zero, which means um, H is concave up and the tangent line lies below the curve, the tangent line underestimates H. And we're talking about when T is 3. Okay, part C. For T is less than 10, an alternate model for the in temperature, internal temperature of the potato is the function G that satisfies this differential equation, where G is measured in degrees Celsius, and we have initial condition, the same initial condition, G of 0 is 91. So first, we're going to actually write an equation for G, and then find the internal internal temperature at T is 3 with our new equation. Okay, so first I'm going to take my differential equation and I'm going to separate the variables. So I'm going to have dg divided by uh, g minus 27 to the 2 thirds equals negative dt. And I'm going to rewrite this as uh, g minus 27 to the negative 2 thirds dg equals negative dt. And now we're going to integrate both sides. So I am going to, uh, if you need to do a u substitution, you can. If u is g minus 27, then du is dg. And uh, the integral of u to the negative 2 thirds is 3u to the 1 third, and then evaluate it at whatever your limits are. We're going to have a plus c here because we don't have defined limits. So this is going to integrate to 3g minus 27 to the 1 third, and then that's going to equal negative t plus c. So I'm going to plug in my initial condition, 0, 91, and I get 3, uh, 91 minus 27 to the 1 third equals uh, 0 plus c. This is 64 to the 1 third, which is uh, 4 which is 12, and so C is 12. So my equation is um, 3 G minus 27 to the 1 third equals negative T plus 12. Um, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. G minus 27 to the 1 third equals uh, negative 3t plus 36. I'm going to cube both sides. g equal, oops, sorry, g minus 27. Let's get rid of that equal sign. g minus 27. Didn't mean to write an equal sign there. There it is, gone like it never happened. G minus 27 equals negative 3t plus 36 cubed. So G of t is negative 3t plus 36 cubed plus 27. So I have an expression for G. And what is the temperature using this equation when t is 3? G of 3 is negative 9 plus 36 cubed plus 27. Oh, I made a little mistake back here. Right here. Oh, 
Deary, Deary, we got to back up right here. That what triggered my realizing we have a mistake is um, this number is going to be way too big. So we are going to back up, and my mistake occurs right here. Instead of dividing by three, I multiplied by three. So let's fix that right now. Okay, we're going to pretend that never happened and back it up. Now we're going to have g minus, g minus 27 to the one-third is going to be negative one-third t plus four. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to cube both sides. There we go. And now I have my g of t equation. So it's going to be negative one-third t plus four cubed plus 27. Okay, that seems a lot more reasonable. Okay. We've got our equation for g of t. And now we just need to figure out what does that tell us the temperature is when t is three. So that's going to be negative one-third times one, three, getting all sorts of careless here, plus four cubed plus 27. So g of three is uh, three cubed. This is going to be negative one plus four cubed plus 27, which is 54 degrees Celsius. All right, boiled potato problem solved.